When you're approaching any kind of social challenge, you almost by definition have to be fearless in order to be successful at it. When you're attacking these kinds of big issues, you got to kind of blow up all the norms because if the existing solutions were working, it wouldn't need to be attacking them in a new way. And so the whole notion of fearlessness is critical to the long-term success. When we started working at Malaria No More on looking at the challenge of ending malaria deaths in Africa, we had to really think very differently than what the traditional folks have been doing. And one example of that challenge was that they had focused only on children under five because those were the children that were dying from malaria. Ninety percent of the malaria deaths happen in young children under five years old. So a lot of the solutions were oriented towards those children that were under five. But the reality was is if you didn't protect the entire community, an entire country or an entire continent from the ravages of the disease, you were never going to make substantial progress. And so the leadership around the malaria movement got their heads wrapped around the idea of getting every family access to mosquito nets to protect them, getting every family access to diagnostic tools, and getting every family access to the medicine that could treat it. And we're seeing rates of malaria plummet for the first time in decades. That's a great example of taking a very fearless approach to tackling a giant problem.